So now in this video, I'd just like to I'd just like to shortly show you how the network file we have created using Vivexcel works. So I have opened here Gephi, and you can actually use many other softwares as well. So what I'll do is I'll go to file and I'll open. As you see, all the files were created when we were processing the data with Vivexcel, but I'll select the last one, net. And there was 172 articles if you remember so you open it and you see here we have 165 instead of 172 so this could be because that there could be like the seven articles which were not connected with each other with citations so that could be the reason that we don't have those seven articles and this 165 articles are kind of connected with citations of 5385 yeah so I just click OK and here is a random network you see so this is our citation data actually of those 165 articles and now it's up to you to make sense of it play with it one quick idea is that to go for force at last and yeah this 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 algorithm okay let's stop what do we see here actually what this algorithm gives is that the most important articles should be in the middle and which were cited less times they should be on the periphery so it kind of looks like that anyway and we can actually do a lot of things here we can add text here but the text doesn't really look good with the text yeah here yeah it looks okay we can't really read much when we point on someone we can see who cited them their connections yeah but it doesn't really make that much of sense maybe we can have some color here no not not this one anyway so what else you can do is you can make some ranking of these articles of these notes and you can maybe choose the degree degree means that number of times an article is connected with other articles and in degree is like number of times other articles are citing a particular article and out degree is number of times a an article is citing other articles so let's just choose in degree for instance and you can change the color here there are many other options but just for simplicity I'm just gonna apply this one now you see the colors here I'll remove the text so the the darker the color the more cited the article is so here yeah you see like this article is not cited many times it's very few like very few yeah very light here no citations at all and there are many more things actually you can do you can do clustering here as well with modularity modularity you can run modularity there are many other options you can play with it but i'm not going to going to detail with that you can read and you can read about gephi and this and these functions and then you can find out how to use it but i'm gonna just run modularity we get some results yeah you learn yourself what does it mean so what we can do is actually we can do some partition using modularity class so here are 0 to 4 like 5 so here could be 5 clusters actually within this data and now all the clusters are colored you see different clusters are colored differently and how do you know actually which are the articles in each of the clusters for that you go to data laboratory so you see the modularity class like one all the ones belong to the same cluster all the three belongs to the same cluster all the zero belong to the same cluster so like that you know and here you see the number of the clusters with responding colors so two represents these colors yeah and also you can we you can actually create page rank I'm gonna use undirected for now but it could be different in your case go through it read it so I'm yeah so page rank score is now created you will have the score here page rank for each of them so usually in other softwares what happens is that the 
the the prestige of the articles are kind of based on how many times they are cited but with page rank it, it also captures the prestige in a way that how many times an article is cited by other highly cited articles so it's kind of superior than only looking at number of times an article is cited okay so that's all here you can actually look at the graph it looks more nice in the preview for some reason it's not working refresh yeah you see it looks very nice here you can actually play with it a lot and there are many other options you can make it look much better much meaningful yeah but i will cover those in another video for now that's it thanks a lot